What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how I load a full coil onto my gutter machine. Um, people ask all the time, uh, customers ask all the time how I load it. It's hard to explain so I'll make a video today. We're going to use this fence post here to stand the coil up. We'll bridge the gap from the tailgate to the machine with this dirt bike ramp. Then I cut a piece of 2x10. I ran, run it across the machine, flip the cradle down onto it, and then once I get the coil up there, lift it up, rock it back up onto the cradle. Um, one thing that also helps if you're by yourself like I am a lot, you see I got my trailer towards the end of the driveway. It's kind of hard to tell, but the driveway slopes downhill, so it just kind of gives me that little extra leverage that I need um, when we're picking up 350 and 400-pound pound coils. So let me get you set up and I'll show you how we do it. Okay, so you can see I have it bridged, got the bridge made up across to be able to just roll it onto the 2x10. I normally use another 2x10 to bridge the gap, but I accidentally used it for the legs on the, um, the toy hauler over the winter time. So using the motorcycle ramp works good. So I'll show you how we do it. Thing to note is putting your coil the right way the first time so you don't have to spin the cradle around. That's how I do it. Yeah, guys, so <clears throat> that's how I load coil by myself. Um, that particular one was right about 350 pounds. Um, I've done it this way with a 413 pound coil by myself. It works good. Um, just be careful. Rolling it across the bridge gets sketchy sometimes. Make sure you're on flat level ground. I tried doing it kind of on a hill one time, almost dropped it. Um, wouldn't be a good day if you did that but yeah um, hopefully hopefully this helps people out um, I know there's been some guys asking um, the best way to do it by yourself a lot of people do got shops a lot of people got fork trucks um, tractors boom lifts anything like that definitely helps but when you're first starting out maybe you don't have that kind of budget <clears throat> like me so I just had to figure it out um, I do a lot of things by myself um, and I, I have since I've started. I just had to figure that out. I didn't really have anybody to teach me. Um, the only people I knew that, that did gutters, uh, they had equipment to be able to do it. So I had to figure it out, um, which is the reason why I went with two cradles on this machine. This is a five, six combo machine. When I ordered it, I didn't want spools because I had a spool on my last machine and a uh, loading coil by yourself with a spool is, is tough. Um, always needed to try to find someone to help um, my fiance is a little gal so <laughs> she was having a hard time helping me we made it work but when I upgraded the machines that's why I went with the two cradle setup because then as that coil gets smaller I can just literally rock it to the front cradle um, and put another coil on the back so hope this helps guys all you solo guys let me know how you guys uh, figured out how to load coil by yourself um, make a video help everyone out that'll wrap up today's video hopefully this helped a bunch of new guys out uh i sure wish i had a video like this when uh when i was starting but play the hands that you're dealt but anyways that's
that's it for today, guys. We'll see you in the next one.